Hey guys, welcome to Random Acts Conversation. I'm Big J, and this is the WWE Weekly Review, week of July 13th. First up, I'm going to put this down. The Divas have arrived. The NXT Divas have come to Raw and SmackDown. They have arrived for the Diva Revolution. It, it, was, it was amazing seeing Becky Lynch, Sasha Banks, and Charlotte debut on Raw. It was amazing. Something I didn't think was going to happen. I'd heard Charlotte was going to be there, but all of a sudden, all three, oh my god. Then, that that just took my breath away. And the fact that Sasha Banks, Charlotte, and Becky Lynch were all at the end putting them in the submissions, that was fucking awesome. Okay. Calm down a little bit. Next up is the match, uh, Raw match of the week. Um, it was Cesaro versus Rusev versus Kevin Owens. The winner would face John Cena for the United States Championship. They're on Raw following the match. This gave me so much, so much happiness and joy and so much faith to show that the future of the WWE is handled in the best hands. You got Rusev, strong, powerful. You got Cesaro, a, a legend. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call him a legend, but an unbelievable man from the Indies. And Kevin Owens, another Indies master that just comes out of nowhere and gives us some amazing matches. Um, let's see what else happened on Raw. Primetime players of Mark Henry took on the New Day, which is a decent six-man tag match. Um, it's cool to see primetime players and Mark Henry together. Reminds me of the Nation of Domination just a smudge. Um, then we had, or well, we had the return of Stardust, who has been out since the, the, since the passing of the dream, Dusty Rhodes. I'm happy that he's back. <laughs> Then we have the Roman Reigns attack on Bray Wyatt, which was cool. It came out of nowhere, and it really just shocked everyone. Roman Reigns got a little bit of vengeance. Um, and you have Brock Lesnar and Seth Rollins back and forth during the opening. Um, then their contract signing at the end was basically what people expected. Um, Seth Rollins was doing his normal hide things, you know, make sure things are on his side. So... What Brock Lesnar does, he turns the table over, he takes the weapon out, he puts it around the table like, go ahead. That ain't gonna do shit, go ahead, do it. I dare you. And what happened? He did it. And Brock Lesnar was down. With the help of Kane, Brock Lesnar was down. But Brock Lesnar never stays down. He came back, ran Seth Rollins off, beat the crud out of F5 Kane on the floor, which was amazing. And then took the stairs and smashed his ankle, which, of course, it just helps to show that Brock Lesnar can defeat all odds, and he's taken out the authority, basically, leaving Seth Rollins alone. So it should be an amazing match. Um, let's see. SmackDown, match of the week. Um, it's Cesaro versus Rusev. It's just a rematch of what happened on Raw, but this match was awesome, and it highlighted Cesaro more than Rusev. Um, from, his, from just the neutralizer to the flying uppercuts that he just comes out of nowhere with, it just made this and I really have faith in Cesaro that he will lead the WWE at some point. Then we have another match for SmackDown was the New Day versus Lucha Dragons. Decent showing from Lucha Dragons, except for Cody. Still seems like he's confused in the ring. He he weaves, he, he he basically uses Sin Cara as a crutch because he doesn't know what to do in a singles match. He looks for Sin Cara and Sin Cara wasn't there, and it's just like oh, I don't know what to do. Um. Hopefully that'll get a little bit better. Um, Sasha Banks now runs with Naomi and Tamina. I always have a problem saying her name. Tamina, Tamina, Tamina. But the three of them are together, and they're going to be badass bitches. Um, let's see. Bray Wyatt saved the opener of the match. Saved the opener of SmackDown, to be honest with you. Uh, because Roman Reigns, I'm sorry, take the mic away from him. He's done. That's it. Bray Wyatt saved it. End of story. Get off the microphone. Uh, last but not least, standard uh, tag team match, Ambrose Reigns tag team match. Same old, same old, except for a beautiful DDC spot through the table from Dean Ambrose onto uh, Big Show. And then we saw the usual Bray Wyatt interference. So, nothing really special. Um, that's it for this week, guys. Until next week, peace out.